you want to see little more of what real meditation is right now and i will let some of the kriya happen and then talk to you a little later the beauty of this meditation is that it is not governed by you it is governed by the you know the cosmic intelligence so let's see what happens now So there is no two in Advait, right? Mm. And in meditation, if, when you, it translates, when you realize this light, right? So it translates like, there is no me. The me goes, and when the me goes, the you also. There is no me, there is no lover, okay? And there is no one that we are loving. There is only love. Okay. Ah. Okay, very difficult to understand, <laughs> very difficult to understand why we will come to this. Yeah. And that is why meditation is necessary. Mm. Why we are unable to understand something so simple? Because the mind is not simple. The mind is made up of language which is dwait, duality. And what is truth? Advait. So, how can you understand that which is not to with thoughts which creates two? Mm. Thought only can only operate as duality. I have to say, this is what I am saying. Are you listening? I am making this two up. Okay? Me and you. Actually, there is no me and you. Where is the me and you? This space in which you, you and I are. Is this space too? No. No. Is the air too? No. Is the light which is falling on us too? No. Is not my breath becoming your breath, your breath becoming my breath? Absolutely. Correct? Yeah. So which means breath, breath is connected with blood. Mm. So that means your blood is becoming my blood, my blood is becoming your blood. Yeah. Okay, so we are living in a cosmic soup. Okay, you've seen a bowl of soup, right? And this is a cosmic soup. This light is not mine. This space is not mine. This time is not mine. This matter is not mine. The material out of which this body is made is not mine. It is made out of food. And food is made from earth, air, from the four elements. Okay, five. Some say five, some say four. So is the body made out of five elements. Anybody takes this body? No, it is made here and dissolved here. Right? So this is an instrument. Right? And in this, we have this brain in which we have this language. And this language can operate only as a duality. There is no language in the universe which is non-dual. Mm. <laughs> so now the question is, what is non dual? If language is not dual, mm. that means through thought we can never reach that point of non duality, correct? Right. Because language itself is creating a duality. The, actually, there is no duality. Mm. See, there is a big difference. Okay. Right? Yeah. The difference is there is something like there is this chair, there is this body. Okay, there is duality. Show me duality. Mm -hmm. So you will say, oh, this is Pavan and this is me. So this is duality. No, this is not duality. Mm -hmm. I am saying Pavan, Pavan exists in my consciousness. I exist in Pavan's consciousness. There is no Pavan and me. Mm -hmm. For me or for you, the people who are watching this, okay, I am in your consciousness. I am, you are seeing this cam, this video, you are seeing it, right? It's going in your brain. So I am where? I am in you. Okay? And you people and this room and this camera and what I am seeing, okay, it's in me. Mm. You are saying it's outside, okay? If it's outside, if I close my eyes, now where is it? You see, when I open my eyes, this light is going in and it's making all this thing inside me. 
which is looking out. I'm in language. I'm saying outside, but if I keep quiet, there is the outside and inside. Mm. If I keep quiet, if I don't have to define what is outside, what is inside, what is duality, what is not. If I if I keep quiet, okay, no. I can hear everything. There is light falling on my eyelids. It percolates into the eye, so I can see that light. It's like waves. I can hear the clock. I can feel the sensation of this body sitting. Okay, now this was just a flash of that energy. Good, you, you saw it. We talked, spoke of meditation and you've seen it, right? So therefore, when you become quiet, there is no duality. Now, to become quiet, how we ask this question, how to become quiet, that's a wrong question. If you ask how, it means... You are asking some technique, some method. Method, it will be made up of some thought. Do this, don't do this, stop your breath, look at this, do this. Do. But did I do anything in front of you? You want to see little more of what real meditation is right now? Okay? Yeah. Live. We are live and you are going to see meditation right now. Mm. You see my eyes? You are looking? Okay? Now, I am just relaxing and I will let some of the Kriya happen and then talk to you a little later. Now, I don't know if anybody has ever shown meditation online. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, I am not trying to sell it to you or anything, but this is my life, right? So, I want the message to go really deep into your heart. And so that you remove this doubt from your head, oh, there is no such thing as living a meditative life. Also, you will see this is not a meditation like any other meditation. This is in this meditation, when my brain becomes silent, the universal cosmic energy, the light, acts. Acts means just like an arrow hits you, no, the light hits you. And it acts on what? It acts on the psychological content which is spread all over your body, your greed, your fear, your, uh, you know, self-consciousness, you know, all this, right? So now, just one minute, okay? So you take me out of it if I'm not opening my eyes, okay? We are not shooting you, why are you so yeah, tense? Yeah. But oh, no, are you relaxed? Tense. Ah, yeah, this like. is a, okay, ready. So, I am talking and this, even when you start living this, the beauty of this meditation is that it is not governed by you, it is governed by the, you know, the cosmic intelligence, right? So, whenever you will talk, whenever you will work, work do something, drive a car, you know, and even pick up a phone, it becomes quiet. It never acts at that time and disturbs you. Okay, but the moment you switched off your work, that very moment the other inner work starts. Okay, so let's see what happens now. It is not necessary to close your eyes. You can keep your eyes open also and then also the Kriyas can take place if I am quiet. I will show you.
Then more than a minute. So, whenever I want, I can start it. Whenever I want, I can stop it. So can you. Okay? And you can refer to all the students who have come to Lighthouse, uh, who live this, and they will share this truth with you. You can ask them also directly. That is it that it forces it way? Uh, is it that it's, you know, it's going to not let us do our work? No, it's not like that. You know, whenever you are resting, whenever you, you know, that is the time it acts. And when you are active, when you are working, it becomes quiet. Is it so? Yes. Is it so? Absolutely. So you are living this meditation and you are doing a job, right? Yes, sir. What job are you doing? Uh, sir, I am working as an uh, admin consultant in uh, the part. We are Institute of Public Administration huh. in Bihar government. In both Gaya? In both, yes. Okay, this is power. Yes. And uh, what all work you do? Uh, I'm currently working with Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. So I was doing something else, teaching and all that. So I have wrapped up all that and I found a work that I love. And No, we are talking about meditation. And, yeah, so uh, I'm currently so does it, working with Lighthouse. Meditation absolutely does not interfere with my work. It has only enhanced it, made it better uh, in every so way. It's amazing, isn't it's it? It's amazing. It, it is, no? Amazing. No and words. What it, what it does to your brain, what it has done to your brain, how it awakens you, how it energizes you. Uh, sir, when we work, we have to do the same thing as our body. We have to do the same thing as our body. We have to do the same thing as our body. We have to do the same thing as our body. We have to do the same thing as our body. We have to do the same thing as our body. So you have clarity of mind yes. Yes. and therefore clarity of action. So what more do you want? If we all can have clarity of mind and clarity of action when we are doing our work or living our daily life. Okay? Because this meditation and daily life is one. In this meditation, I can't say, now I am going to meditate. I never do that. Okay? So all now, I am not trying to say they are all bad, all these techniques and all that. But what I am saying is, that anything which is to do with technique, technology, following a rule, law, it is not meditation. It can be anything else. Basically, I think it is self-deception, fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, even if I sit here and start chanting, Om, Om, I'm just using my mind. Meditation has nothing to do with your mind, the energy which hit, hit me, it is not, I am not making this energy, it is coming from beyond. Mm. Okay, it can only come when the mind is quiet, the channels in our system are made such, we are actually cosmic beings. We are not just human beings, human beings is what society calls us. The real word is that you are a cosmic being. So what happens when this cosmic energy in, you know, begin, be, becomes active in you is cosmutation, not meditation. Mm. Meditation has, we have described meditation means to think carefully. Okay, cosmutation means this cosmic energy or the divine light. The divine light in which the whole universe is, which this divine light is called Satyam Shivam Sundaram. It is absolute truth. It is uh, sh Shivam means eternal. Eternal or okay. And Satyam, you don't know, you are guessing. Yeah. Uh, you are always guessing. Okay. Right. This, this is one girl who has done meditation, <laughs> but she has not given up guessing. Please give up guessing. Either you know a thing or you don't. So Satyam is truth. Uh, uh, Shivam and Sundaram. Sundaram is beauty. And Shivam is consciousness. Okay. Truth, consciousness. Consciousness means I and the world. I am conscious of this world. This whole consciousness. Okay. So there is truth which is absolute. Then there is this universal thing called the universe and me. Okay. And Sundaram means beauty. 
not beauty as a beautiful stone or a beautiful rose beauty itself beauty itself you will if when you see this light and when you live this light okay in this light when you see the universe i have seen it okay and for long periods of time even now i see but sometimes when the light is like very strong you can see everything in the universe everything even a dirty piece of wood or even shit okay you will see there is beauty around it beauty actual beauty what it is it's it's like uh, it's like everything is glittering shining mm -hmm. you know suppose you have uh, you see if you take a, a plain stone and if you take a diamond why you say diamond is so beautiful because there is so much beauty the light is passing through it's glittering right that glitter, that glittery thing that there is a quality actually you can't say what beauty is okay that quality you see in every object why because this light of truth pervades the whole universe every object every atom and the, the one of the quality of this truth is that it is beauty okay and where there is truth and beauty which are one okay there there is another thing again it is the same thing but you can call that love so you can say satyam is truth shivam is love and sundaram is beauty okay so the question was what is meditation i am changing the word meditation to cosmutation right so cosmutation okay is uh, a state in which the mind is completely the mind means thoughts completely passive and quiet and you become aware right and once you become aware once you have touched this light this awareness is something which stays with you throughout the day in the beginning the awareness will come and go come and go come and go okay as you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it you will realize awareness is your natural state you are going to sleep and the body is going to sleep and you will be aware okay so but this awareness uh, will come and go in the sense that uh, when the awareness is there there will be action there will be release of uh, psychological content the inner tensions the uh, greed the fear fear especially okay it makes you fearless so if you want to define meditation this meditation okay which is cosmutation i am using the word meditation but it means cosmutation so meditation is when the meditator is not when i have become quiet i have reached the point of zero i am not i'm i have gone into silence when the whole of me is silent there is no sd banerji there is no krishna there is no sarvadaman uh, there is no bhavan when we fold up then the other acts that is meditation kindly subscribe and share our videos